Adam, your reflection on a very up and down final pre-season friendly fixture. It was um, I thought first half we, we played some excellent stuff and you know, probably a bit disappointed that Len hasn't made it 3-0 um, and I thought that would have been a fair reflection of, of large parts of the first half and uh, then you know, a bit of a controversial decision to give a penalty and um, a mistake when we're jumping out and leave ourselves open a little bit and you come in too all. Um, but I thought um, large parts of the first half we played some really good stuff and um, you know, moved them around uh, really well. Um, second half, we probably didn't, with the amount of changes, didn't probably find um, the same sort of impetus we did first half, but there's still some good stuff in there. Um, but yeah, whenever we sort of got ahead, you got to 3-2 to, to and then uh, another penalty um, to make it 3 all. So yeah, some, some funny decisions. Um, you know, still more to come from us. I think the the players that haven't had many minutes uh, is important for them to get minutes today, and uh, pleased that they've come for it. Yeah, there were some intriguing decisions, but like you mentioned, there second half with the changes coming in and out throughout the half, it sort of killed the flow that we had in the first half a little bit. It did, yeah. Um, you, you get that um, sometimes. Um, sometimes you want to impact from all the subs coming on, and um, you know, probably found it hard to, to find their feet a little bit and they pressed a slightly different second half uh, which did make it a bit more difficult but um, our decisions on the ball were um, a little bit poor at times um, and there was too many passes for me that we were unopposed and you know we passed out of play again but I'm hoping to um, you know eradicate all that this week and um, be ready to go for next week. It's frustrating gone away from home, scored three goals, and we still feel like we could have had more. Is it frustrating that the potential's there, just not converting them fully yet? Potential's definitely there, um, but yeah, like you said, uh, uh, if you come away from home and you score three goals, then you know, you'd like to think that's going to end up in, in a win uh, moving forward, and it's something that we've got to look at. Um, you know, although there's, there's two penalties, we can't. Um, well, I suppose we can do stuff about the decisions that the refs made there, but um, yeah, we've, we've got to look at being a bit more resolute and, um, you know, with the amount of ball that we had and the amount of chances they had to concede two goals first half is, is a big disappointment and, you know, the, the, th the third one, um, again, another penalty, but we'd be disappointed with scoring three away and, and also conceding three is, is disappointing on our, our behalf and um, sometimes it's good to, to get that just before the season starts and, um, you know, give us a bit of a, a kick up the backside um, that we're not quite the finished article and we've got lots to work on and lots to improve on and, a um, bit of a humbling and you know, we'll take that into next week. Yeah, you've sort of touched on it there then. How would you assess the pre-season in the whole now? It's pre-season finish, it's you know, nitty-gritty next week. Not quite the finished article, but a lot of progress made. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think you can see in our play there's some really good good understanding and good play going on and we're getting into to, to the final third a lot. Um, not as clean as we want to be in that area um, and that's no disrespect to to, to any of the, the players that have been playing there. Um, but, you know, we've got to be a bit more clinical and a bit more ruthless at times and um, make those better decisions. But I think in the main, we're getting the ball there quite often. Um, and then it's just a case of being a bit more clinical, taking them chances and, um, you know, being being a tougher team and tougher units to play against. Yeah, and sort of, you know, it, it is your style of play now. It's the way you want to build upon the play on a whole. So that's must be the positive as well from pre is that it's implemented can still go further. It's certainly getting implemented now, um, which is good. And um, you know, like I say, the fitness is a good level of understanding amongst the players on, on what we want. Um, now it's just um, just the, the, the final final little bits and tweaking one or two decisions. But you know, we've got the makings of a, a really good squad here. I'm happy with what we've done in the summer. They've come together really well, and uh, you know, it won't be through a want of trying um, this season. Um, you know. We'd, definitely got the lads working hard and, and together and working hard for each other which is important um, but yeah like to, to have a uh, like I said a bit of a humbling um, I don't know if that's the right word or not really because we play some really good stuff and on another day you can play as well as that and win 4-5 or five, and you could go into the season thinking you've cracked it so you know I quite like it it's happened like this um, and you know we're getting all these uh, decisions out of the way now and hopefully we can um, put that to one side and, and like I say be ready to go for next week. Yeah, uh, Rory went off uh, early with a collision, sort of talks through what it was and precaution-wise, is he okay? Well, I don't think it was initially a, a free kick 
against us, to be honest. Then the ref let it play for 30 seconds, and then he's let our goalkeeper, when he's caught the ball, get a smash on the head. Um, so obviously, you know, looked a, a bit groggy, so he didn't take any risks. So yeah, we've got to have a look at it, uh, make sure we follow the correct protocols on that one. Um, you know, because. You know, bang to heads, that's severe. We, we've got to make sure that um, he's right. Um, but, you know, he seems okay. Um, seems like he's recovered quite well from it. And, uh, you know, we've got good goalkeepers at the club. So um, it's one that we'll be able to get over. Um, obviously, we like Rory, Rory available. Um, but, yeah, we're hoping it's nothing too serious. But, you know, I think how the decision has been allowed for the play to play on that long and for that incident to happen is, is beyond me, really. Further minutes than that, legs for Cooksey, Leon Gravar, etc. Has everyone else through okay now? Cooksey, uh, Cam John, Tyree Sinclair. Um and Ricky as well, I've got 90, so there's, there's good minutes in the legs and that, that was the, the key thing for me that I wanted to come out of today with that, you know, these players um, got some more minutes so that we've got uh, a bigger squad of players to, to call upon in the next week. Um, you know, if, we, if we didn't do that, then only be, have, we'd have too many that wouldn't be available to start the game and I think now, um, you know, we've got a good nucleus of players that we can call upon to, to start the game, which was the idea of, of coming here and, and and getting those players on the pitch and getting the minutes.